I am Anil Kumar. Let me first thank my subscriber for sharing an excellent question. Now she wants to understand the unit on combination of functions. The question here is f of x equals to square root of 3 minus x, g of x equals to square root of x square minus 1. We need to find what is their sum, difference, product and quotient and we need to state their domain and range. Now there are a lot of things to cover in one video so I have divided it into two parts. In this part we'll talk about sum and difference of the function, the given functions and in part two we'll talk about their product and quotient. Now let's try to understand what is combination of function and when can we do the combination. We can always perform the combination on common domain. So whenever you're doing combination of function, you have to look for common domain. That is very, very important, right? Always look for common domain to perform these operations. Another important thing here is we should have some values to work with, right? So, so I'll make table of values where I'll pick very minimal values so that we can just work with it and get the required results. So for f of x, what values should I take? Let's consider the function f of x first. We have f of x equals to square root of 3 minus x. So it is clear that x value has to be less than or equal to 3, right? Because as you know, 3 minus x should be greater than or equal to 0. That means Taking x on this side, 3 should be greater than or equal to x or x is less than or equal to 3. So the domain of this function is that x is less than or equal to 3, right? Okay, so let me write down the domain part here, which is, okay, so which is our answer. So we say domain of this function uh, is, is uh, x belongs to real numbers where x is less than or equal to 3, right? So that's the domain. Okay, how about range? Range for this function is, let's say we can write range of f of x is, is always positive, right? At 3 to 0. So y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to 0. So that's the range for the given function. Now to sketch the function, and to do all these operations, we need some values to work with. So what I will do here is kind of create a table of values. Okay, so, so let me just have a few values. I will not put many values there. So let us say that these are the x values and f of x will be, since we know it is on the left side of 3, so let me start with 3 itself. So at 3, f of x will be equal to 0. At 2, if I write 2 here, 3 minus 2 is 1, square root of 1 is 1. At 1, uh, 3 minus 1 is 2, so we get square root of 2, right? At 0, we get a value of square root of 3. At minus 1, if I write minus 1 here, we get 4, and we get square root of 4 as 2. And let's say at 2, I should say minus 2 minus 2 will give me square root of 5, right? So these are the values for f of x. Now based on these values, we can always sketch the function. So let me sketch the function right here. So we see all the values are positive, so I'll sketch a function here in small space. And let us say this is my y-axis. And uh, Okay, so square root functions are kind of like this. So let me sketch this and then we'll fill in the values. Okay, so there we have. So this value here should be 3 on the x-axis. And at uh, 0, we are looking for square root of 3, right? This is square root of 3. And at 1 and minus 1, 1 we have, this is let's say 1, this is 2 and 3. So at 1, we have a value which is uh, square root of 2, this is square root of 2, at uh, at 2 it is 1, so at 2 it is kind of let's say 1, okay. At uh, minus 1, at 
minus 1 it is 2 so so at minus 1 let's say this value is 2 okay these are critical values right so that's the function now let's look into the second function which is g of x equals to square root of x square minus 1 now this is symmetric about x axis no y axis right it is symmetric about y axis is even function correct okay so let's take some values for this function and then we'll write its domain range okay so, so the values should be uh, let me write so we have x and g of x so since it is symmetric about y axis by right? let's consider the values from now x square minus 1 now within the square root we can always have positive values so the value has to be more than one absolute value right so so value between minus 1 and 1 are not valid so we can start with values like like 1 right so so at 1 I mean at 1 the value will be 0 if I write 2 add 2 2 square is 4 4 minus 1 is square root of 3 add 3 the value of this function will be 9 minus 1 square root square root of 8 since this function is symmetric at minus 1 I'll get 0 at minus 2 I'll get square root of 3 and at minus 3 I get square root of 8 right and if I have to sketch it it should look something like this so so at 1 it is 0 and then it kind of increases like this right similarly from minus 1 it kind of increases as you can see it is very much symmetric about the y-axis correct and what is the domain of this function so the domain of this function is x belongs to real numbers and x is either less than or equal to minus 1 or greater than or equal to 1 correct so we can say x is less than or equals to minus 1 union x is greater than or equals to 1 is that okay as far as the range is concerned we can say range for this function as y belongs to real numbers and it is always greater than or equal to 0 right so that is the domain range for the given functions now we will see what happens when we combine these functions so in this video we'll do sum and difference so let's take the sum first so let's add these two functions f plus g so adding can only be done in the domain which is common to both so the domain which is common to both is from 1 to 3 right so this is the domain let me highlight the domain which is common to both and then we'll add the values and kind of sketch it that's the whole idea you can actually pause the video and uh, sketch and then compare right so this is the common domain correct this is common to both correct you can see that so within this domain we can actually add these values and build our graph so what you could do as an exercise here is that you could actually make a table of values kind of what we had done here and for different values of x you can find what is f plus g the values which you have to take are from 3 1 to 3 right so so on the right side the values which you should consider will be like 1 2 and 3 right you cannot go beyond 3 and on the left side you have to consider minus 1 and you can take minus 2 that will give you fairly good graph of the combination of these two so if i combine f plus g these terms at 3 i get square root of 8 do you see that just combine these two so we have square root of 8 at 2 it is 1 plus square root of 3 right 1 plus 1 1.7 it will give you 2.7 for example square root 2 that is 1.4 let me write square root 2 minus 1 it will give me 2 at minus 2 we have to combine these two right so uh, well so I'm not writing anything here but you can use calculator to find decimal values and add it up right now once you have these values 
then let's sketch these and see how it looks like when you combine them right so when you sketch the graph you can clearly see that the combination at one it is square root two so basically what we observe here is that we have to go from one two three right up to this point and on the left side you can go less than minus one right nothing in between that is critical to understand okay so at one we have the lowest value of this function which is square root of two then at two it is 2.7 and then at three it is kind of increasing right so increases to square root eight so we kind of have a graph like this right so where it goes from square root of two to square root of eight right let me write here at minus one the value is two so it starts with somewhere here at two and then it actually increases right so it is sum of square root of five and square root of eight you could use calculator and add this up right so we could do square root of eight plus i mean uh, let's clear this square root of eight and it will come out of this bracket into it right square root of five is equal to oh i didn't add it sorry so we could do square root of eight plus uh, square root of five okay and that is equal to in decimals 5.06 so around 5.06 so as you can see I'll let me write five points okay let's say approximately 5.06 fine but anyways fairly high right that's the idea so let me just show it like this is it okay fairly high value now that is the graph of their sum and i think from the graph it is easy to write down both domain and range of this function so the domain of this function is that is the sum of this function is um, from minus infinity to so that is the domain right and between one and three correct so let me use a different nomenclature we'll say it is from minus infinity to minus one union one two we include this right one two three right okay i messed it up anyway let me write again so the domain of this function is between minus infinity that is never to be included to minus one this is included union and we have to include one and three correct range of this function is greater than or equal to the smallest value is square root of two right so it is it is greater than square root two uh, so it is including square root two right to infinity that's the range similarly you have to now sketch the function difference of these two right so let's do this now okay so let's do difference of these functions f minus g right f minus g so this becomes this is flipped over the x-axis so it'll be like negative correct so to get an idea it's good to kind of again make this table of values right so let me sketch the table of values on this side okay so what i'll do here is i'll write down the x values and then the function f minus g values we have kind of same things right i could sum up here also anyway so for the same values which are minus 2 minus 1 1 2 and 3 we can do difference of f and g that is this difference so 0 minus square root of 8 will be minus of square root of 8 1 minus square root of 3 it will be around uh, 0 0.7 with a negative sign square root 2 minus 0 will be square root 2 so this will be square root 2 right and then at minus 1 we'll have 2 minus 0 so at minus 1 it is 2 at minus 2 it is it is a negative value since square root of 5 is less than square root of 8 right so it is something negative okay so based on this if you do proper calculations you can now sketch the graph right so the graph of this function will look like uh, let me sketch it here so starting at uh, let me use this red color now so we have the domain between minus one to three right between minus one and i mean plus one and three on this side and minus one to minus infinity on the other side 
So the difference as you have seen, at 1 the value is square root of 2. So let's say this is square root of 2 and at 3 it is minus square root of 8, right? So minus square root of t. So it's kind of like this. You see this value is minus square root 8. On the other hand, at minus 1 we found that the value is 2. So it begins with, let's say this is 2 for us, 2 and it actually rapidly decreases. At minus 2 it is negative. At minus 2 it is negative somewhere here. So we'll just roughly sketch this graph like this. So you should do, you can do a better job by finding, calculating some more values. But here what we are emphasizing on is how the function looks like and what can be its domain and range. Now domain of this function is, let's write down here now, uh, d of x, d of let me write f minus g, will be from minus infinity to minus 1, where minus 1 is included, infinity never included, union 1 to 3, right? So both included. As far as the range of this function is concerned, it is less than equal to 2, right? So it is, uh, we can say, it is from minus infinity to 2. So that is how you can get domain and range of this sum and difference of these functions. I hope that helps and gives you an idea of how to combine the functions and write their domain and range. Now in part 2, we will consider their product and quotient. I am Anil Kumar and I hope it helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you for watching. All the best.